hello guys in the last video i have shown you how to integrate the smart commits with the uh, github so now let's see how to update the multiple issues or the multiple fields as we we can see on the jira documentation we can uh, update the command time and transition for example i want to change my uh, jira task status from to do to in progress and lock some time here okay i i want to update this uh, particular fields for two more tasks so here i'll make some changes in my code for example here i'll add the some test i'll save it then again git add git commit you can also make this git commit mandatory uh, the jira uh, issue mandatory in git commit so i'll show you in different video just follow my channel subscribe my channel so that i can provide you uh, more knowledge on this so there is a commit hook that you can provide with the git commit so that developers cannot check in the code or commit the code without the jira id so my jira id is tst123 like tst1 space tst2 space tst Three. So here I want to update the multiple fields like comment, comment. I want to log the time, so I'll provide hash time. So here we'll have to provide the time. In the manner like week, day, hour, and minute. So I have worked on this particular issue around uh, 30 minutes. So I'll update the 30 m. So if I work one hour 30 minute, so I'll update time one h 30 minute. If I worked on this issue for a day, so I'll update one d one hour 30 minutes like this. You can. You can find the uh, syntax on the Atlassian page like 30 minutes and I want to comment something in the time. Okay. And I want to change the status. So while committing or while enabling the smart commits, you need to make sure one thing your git email git email id configured in uh, git server and email id with the jira server should be matched because git has to authenticate your git, uh, jira server and the user who are committing should have the uh, access to jira if you don't have the access your commit will not be updated against the jira task so i'll hit enter and then I'll just do the git push origin. So it has been pushed to the GitHub server. So let's check the uh, Jira task first. So I'll just refresh the page. Okay, it is not been updated. So I'll just try to sync my repository. So here, this is my repository and I'll sync it with the GitHub. So it will uh, pull all the updates from the GitHub server. This is my local server. That's why it is taking time. If you have the enterprise server, which is uh, the publicly 
uh, open uh, not publicly but it should be open for the particular application so you can easily see all the changes uh, reflected into the jira so the issues okay actually the status is been updated done so that's why i cannot see any issues in my uh, dashboard so that was the uh, issue so here you can check the comment so this is the new ch uh, change made for demo and you can check the work log that is the time spent on the comment provided for the work log and the status earlier it was to do now it is the done so you can check again the against each issue so that comment is that field is updated so you can also uh, check the development for the commits okay the same you cannot update the uh, different fields for all the uh, this issues so for further reference you can refer the link that is on the atlassian so this is how we can enable the smart comments and use the jira implement the jira smartly from the uh, github so thank you very much do like and subscribe for the more videos thank you